and you were sick, did your family do anything special? My family treated me in a special way when I was sick. Can you remember anything special they did? When you were sick? Were you ever sick? Do you know sick? The word sick? I don't think you do. Um, how would you say sick in Thai? Oi. Sick oi. Oi. Okay. So when you were a little boy, were you ever sick oi? crackers and sweetened tea. Do you remember anything special when you were little? was not so good. So, under the weather is an idiom for sick. Under the weather means, I'm a little under the weather. It usually doesn't mean like you're really sick. It just means you're kind of sick, just a little bit sick. Under the weather. Well, um, I have to ask you something before we go on to other idioms. I found this on the internet, and I'd love you to explain it and help me understand it. Say that one more time. Yes, I apologize for keeping you waiting. I apologize for keeping you waiting. That's, but, but you're right. You're right. So I saw this on blind Thai child angel dogs <laughs> get seats <laughs> in a airliner. So here, these angel dolls, what are they? They are or they're not? That they're special. Okay. Um, so, I guess people are getting them like on an airline. They're actually buying a seat. A ticket for the doll. Wow, that's interesting to me. Pardon me? Go ahead, Toy. Um, 
Oh, for one person, yes. So they pay the fee for one person, just for the doll. These must be rather wealthy people, people who have a lot of money to do this. Is this very common, or is this something, oh, it just happens now and then? It just happens now and then. Okay, now and then. And I guess what happened in this situation is not the Buddhist way. Pardon me? It's not the Buddhist way. It's not the Buddhist way. Oh, okay. Thank you. Because I wondered, is this part of a Buddhist thought? Okay. Someone believed that. Someone okay. Believed that. Okay. Thank you. And then something that happened that was kind of scary was that <laughs> they were smuggling yeah. drugs, putting drugs exactly. in the doll. And so that was a way to get the drugs across, evidently. But I'd never heard of that before, <laughs> the Thai dolls. When, if I wanted one, and I don't want one, but if I wanted one, where does a person buy one of these? You can buy uh, at Chinatown. Oh, at Chinatown. I was just yes. there. But someone can uh, they, uh, make, make for me. It's only for business. Wow. Oh, a business. Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Was kinda, I was kind of wondering about it. Because there's many unusual things in the United States, for sure. Okay. Okay. So we're, on our morning discussion, we're talking about what happened when you were little and you were sick. Because I'm introducing, and maybe not introducing because many of you know it, under the weather means you're sick. Not necessarily in your tummy, that's where I'm kind of sick. So in fact, when you were little and you were sick, did your mother or father give you toasted crackers with butter and hot sweetened tea? Usually hot, uh, hot, hot water. Hot yeah. water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hot water. And that's and hot water. And, and some medicine. medicine. <laughs> and some medicine. Yeah. But, now, says, but now I take care of myself. Me too. Because I am a uh, oh. young <laughs> In my culture in America, though, you don't ask someone their age. Oh. Especially a woman. You don't ask a woman their age. Now, it doesn't bother me, but that's a rule, kind of an unspoken rule in the United States. You don't ask women my age their age. Is that considered impolite in Thailand, too? Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. But I'm proud of my age. I am too. Yeah, I'm very proud. proud of my age. People usually think I'm older, and I don't. I'm not really crazy about that. But, but who cares? You know. Okay. Oh. Sorry. So if you find that I run out of here today, it's because I have to find a bathroom really quickly. <laughs> So anyway, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Let's think of an, I, I've got another one, another idiom. Now I understand that, and help me with this, um, that because most of you are of, are Buddhists, you're taught uh, not to speak negatively. Is that correct? So, but if I said I'm sick, that's okay, isn't it? Okay. So I'm going to give you this other idiom, and um, this is a negative word, but it doesn't mean. It. Have you heard this one? Kill time. Pardon me. Waste time. Waste time. Waste time. Yes, wasting time. Or sometimes it just gets how do you spend time to, that you can waste, right? To kill time or to waste time. 
So I may say, I need to kill some time in the airport while I'm waiting for my next flight. So I will read a book. Kill time. Um, or when I'm at home, I rarely need to kill time, it, but sometimes I do. How do you kill time? Watch TV. Watch TV. Or you might hear someone say, I have time to kill, which is the same thing. I have time to kill, which means you have a lot of time on your hands, right? Doesn't mean always. When I was a single mom with raising two daughters and trying to get a college degree, I had no time to kill. <laughs> no time to kill. Now I have actually a lot more. Chantha, does this, had you heard time to kill before? Yes. Yes? And, and do you understand it? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So that's another idiom. I tell you what, you guys know so many things. We're going to try another one. Have you heard of this one? Another idiom. Yes, ma'am. It means bad time, right? Or a long time. Say it again, please. You, you, you go here. I need to kill some time, right? Some time that means bad time or a long time. Right. I spare time. I need to get rid of it. I've got nothing to do. You know, I have an appointment tonight, but this afternoon I don't have.